فورمز اوكي ايش يعني كونتينيوس فورمز كونتينيوس فورمز هي الفورمز اللي فيها اي ان جي اوكي كونتينيوس فورمز هي الفورمز اللي فيها اي ان جي فور اكزامبل اي ام سبيكينج هي از ريدينج Uh, I've been working, uh, I'll be waiting, etc. Okay? هذا ايش معناها continuous forms اللي فيها ing. Okay? Now, what, what, what does it express? لما تكون عندنا continuous form ايش يعني? Why do we use it? Okay? Why do we use it? Okay? We use the continuous form number one for activity in progress. Activity in progress. ايش يعني activity in progress? Okay, activity in progress means uh, the action is going on. Okay, الحدث متواصل. The action is going on. For example, be quiet, I'm thinking. Okay, when I say I'm thinking, the process of thinking is, is a long one. لما نقول لك بس be quiet, أنا أنا قاعدة نفكر. Okay, لما نقول أنا قاعدة نفكر, it means it takes time. Maybe for one hour, half an hour. Okay, uh, number two, I was having a shower when the telephone rang. I was having a shower when the telephone rang. Okay, the action of having a shower is a long action. It is an activity in progress. And this activity in progress is interrupted by the simple past, which is rank. Okay, I've been working since 9 o'clock this morning. I've been working since 9 o'clock this morning. Okay, I've been... Pay attention. Working. So what is that? What tense is this? I've been working. I've been working. This tense is the present, the present perfect continuous. This is the present perfect continuous. شفنا قبل the present perfect. هذا the present perfect continuous. The present perfect continues. Okay, so this is number one. As I told you, the present perf the uh, continuous form expresses uh, one number one activity in progress. Number two, temporary action. Okay, temporary action, temporary action or activity. Okay, what does it, what does this mean? For example, if I say we are staying with friends until. We find a place of our own. We are staying with friends until we find a place of our own. I'm staying with friends until we find a place of our own. So, so this is temporary action. يعني إحنا جالسين بس مع أصحابنا إلى ما نلقى مكان نسكن فيه. Okay? So, we've been living with them for six weeks. When I say we've been, we have been living with them for six weeks. Okay? We've been living with them for six weeks. It means, سكنا معهم بس ستة أسابيع. Okay? It is a temporary. يعني إيش معناه temporary? Temporary يعني وقتي. ما هو permanent. Temporary هي عكس permanent. It is not a permanent activity. It is a temporary activity. بس ول لوقت معين. Okay. Number three, possibly incomplete activities. Possibly incomplete activities. So the present, sorry, the the continuous form. I said I'm I'm repeating the continuous form expresses an activity in progress. Okay. Number two, temporary activity, and number three, temporary, uh, sorry, possibly incomplete, possibly incomplete activity. Possibly incomplete activity. Possibly incomplete activity. For example, I'm writing a report. I'm writing a report. I have to finish it by tomorrow. It means the activity of writing is not finished. I started writing the report, but I haven't finished yet. That's the idea. Okay? 
بس بنات نحب تحطوا ثلاثة حاجات في ذهنكم، أوكي؟ okay? I want you to remember three things. The continuous forms express number one, uh, express number one, uh, activity in progress, number two, temporary activity, and number three, possibly incomplete activity. Possibly incomplete activity. Okay? Now, let's have a look at point 10 number one, 10.1. Okay? And we are going to see here uh, uh, the form of the present perfect continuous. The present perfect continuous. In tabula tense, Heather. Okay? Present perfect Present perfect continuous. Okay? How do we form the present continuous, the present perfect continuous? We have subject plus have or has. It depends on whether the subject is singular or plural. If it is singular, we use have, uh, has. If it is singular, uh, plural, we use have plus been. Okay? Plus verb. Plus ing. Okay, have the form given in the present perfect continuous. Okay, for example, I have and pay attention when I say have, it is the equivalent of apostrophe ve. And when I say has, it is the equivalent of apostrophe s. Okay? Now, I say, I've been walking, I, you've been walking, she's been walking, they've been walking, etc. Now, for the questions, we just change the place of have or has and the subject, okay? Instead of saying, for example, I've been working, I say, have I been working, have I been working, or, or how long have I or have you been walking? How long have you been working? Okay? How long have you been working? Okay? Now, use. Use, use, yani, istamil, lish, istamilu, okay? Why do we use the present perfect continuous? So, the present perfect continuous expresses or express, uh, sorry, we use the present perfect continuous to express or the present perfect continuous expresses an activity that began in the past and is continuing now. Ish yani? Yani, hadath bada'a fil madi wa lissa mitwasil ilin dahil, okay? For example, how uh, I've been studying English for three days. I've been studying English for three days. I've been studying English for three days. Or how long have you been working here? Okay? So now it, the present continuous, uh, the present perfect continuous expresses an activity that began in the past and still continuing now, okay, still going on. The action started in the past and still continuing now. Sometimes there is no difference between the simple and the continuous. طبعاً شوفنا إحنا the present perfect simple اللي هو I've worked, I've lived, okay. أحياناً ما فيش فرق ما بينه وما بين the present perfect continuous. I have played football since I was a boy, or I've been playing football since I was a boy. Okay, both they have the same meaning. If the continuous is possible, English has a preference of for using it. So, now the continuous uh, can sometimes express a temporary activity and the simple present a permanent state. طبعاً لما نستعمل simple form بتاع present perfect it is to express a simple permanent state. يعني حاجة تكون دائمة state which is permanent. But when we use the, the continuous it means for something that is temporary, وقتي. Okay? For example, I've been living in the house for the past five years. 
or for the past few, e few, few months. Okay, this is temporary. Okay, and when I say I've lived here all my life, this is permanent. Okay. Uh, remember, Lebnet, we state verbs which cannot be used in the simple, uh, in the, uh, in the, there are uh, state verbs which cannot be used in the, sim in the continuous form. في أفعال ما نستعملهاش في continuous form. Okay, ممكن تراجعوا صفحة 136. Okay, for example, uh, yeah. Verbs, uh, state verbs, for example, verbs of thinking and opinions. We have believe, think, understand, suppose, uh, expect, forget, prefer, describe, realize, uh, imagine, mean, agree, etc., doubt, know, remember, like, love. These verbs, all these verbs, we cannot be used in the continuous form. Belong, belong own, have, process, possess. Uh, contain, cost, seem, appear, need, etc. Okay, trash will have heavy state verbs on page 163, 2.3. Uh, sorry, 106, uh, 136. Me of Okay? Okay, now we go back to our unit, uh, page 148. One hundred forty eight. Okay, uh, and uh, number two, uh, number two, uh, a past activity that has caused a present result. Okay, let me tell the result. Tashi sarf al madi. Okay, for example, I've been working all day. The result is that I'm tired now. The result is written in parentheses. When I say I've been working all day, ish natija. The natija is that I am tired now. Okay, have you have you been crying? Your eyes are red. Have you been crying? Uh, the result is that your eyes are red. Let me show you. Okay, have you been crying? Okay, have you been crying? Okay, so this is a past activity, but the result is still in the present. I can see that your eyes are red. So I did use it that you, you've been crying. Okay, Roger's, Roger is being uh, cooking, Roger's being cooking uh, with, the, with garlic. I can smell it. I'll enter the kitchen, for example, and I smell garlic. Okay, so I say, ah, he's been, he's been working with, uh, sorry, he's been cooking with, with garlic. Now, the past activity must be finished or it might not. The past activity might be finished or it might not. The context usually uh, makes it this clear, okay? Now, the present perfect or simple, or simple or continuous. Now, what do we, the difference between them, okay? Now, the simple perfect, the simple present perfect expresses a completed action. Is she completed action? It means that it has nothing to do with the present, okay? When I say, for example, I've painted the kitchen and now I'm doing the bathroom. It means, خلاص, I finished painting the, the kitchen and now I'm doing the bathroom, okay? So the action happened and finished in the past. Now, the continuous expresses an activity over a period and things that happened uh, during the activity. For example, I've got paint in my hair because I've been decorating, okay? Number two, some verbs do not have the idea of a long time. For example, find, start, do, buy, die, lose, break, stop. These verbs are more usually found in the simple form and not in the continuous form. As I told you, you have to go to page 136 to, see, to, look, to have a look at these state verbs. Why are they called state verbs? They are not in the ing form, as simple as that. Okay? And they are different kind of verbs. They are verbs of thought, verbs of... Uh, yeah, verbs of thinking and opinions, 
uh, verbs of emotions and feelings, verbs of having and being, and verbs of senses. For example, look, hear, taste, smell, feel. All these verbs cannot, cannot be used in the ING form. So please pay attention, okay? Now, look at these time expressions. Time expressions. Okay? So here are some time expressions found with certain tenses. Uh, for example, I, I've lived in Chicago for six years. Four can be used with the simple past, and also four can be used with the present perfect. Okay? So I've lived in Chicago for six years. This is in the past. It happened and finished. I saw Jack two days ago. I saw Jack two days ago. Uh, they slept during the night, the flight, sorry. They slept during the flight, during, okay? And she learned to speak French while she was at university. So while is used uh, here as a time expression, Bainama, okay? Now, the present perfect, we've been married for 10 years. So pay attention and notice here that for is used for uh, uh, present past simple and is used also for present perfect. They've been living here since June. They've been living here since June. She's been working here, uh, sorry, she's been working since their baby was born. I'll be home in half an hour. I'll be home in half an hour. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, she hasn't been uh, working since their baby was born. This is the present perfect and the continuous. And the future, we are going on vacation for a few days. When I say we are going for vacation for a few days, it is absolutely the, the future. The class ends in 20 minutes. The class ends in 20 minutes. And uh, I'll be home in half an hour, okay? So all the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 these, these expressions in bold uh, uh, use it with the, the, the time mentioned above, with the future, present perfect, and past simple. Now, prepositions in dates and with dates and months and years. For example, when we say in, when we use in, we use it with months. We say... For example, in September, in October, in November, with all the months of the year. Okay, مع الأشهر. Sorry, نستعمل in. Okay, sorry. And and uh, in in summer, with seasons in summer, in spring, in autumn, in in winter. Okay, and with years. For example, in 1965, 1970, 1971, etc. In the holidays, in the 1920s, in the 20th century. Now, on Monday, on Monday morning, on 8th August, on New Year's Day, and on a holiday. So, on is used with days of the week. We use with days of the week and parts of the day. For example, Monday morning, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, etc. On uh, uh, normally we use in with the, with the, with the, with the months in September, in October. But here we have the day mentioned. If we have eight or seven, whatever date, okay? So we use on, on eight, eight September, uh, this uh, August, okay? At, we use it with uh, time at seven o'clock, at eight o'clock, at 11 o'clock. At the end of May, at New Year, and at the age of 10, at dinner time, okay? So pay attention to the use of these prepositions. These are very important, okay? Now, ha let's have a look at the starter. On page, okay, so these are, yes, Ahud, what's the problem? Ishfi Ahud. إيش قاعدة يونت إتويلف إيش يعني؟ أوكي okay, let's finish this and then we talk. أوكي okay, let's finish this. So ways of speaking. Ways of speaking it means what are the verbs used when we talk about uh, something. Okay. So ways of speaking. What are the verbs used 
Okay, words, uh, yeah, uh, ways of speaking. للملاحظة احنا بس لا تقولوا لي قاعدة ولا شيء احنا بس هنا في الـ في الـ يعني في الحصة نعمل بس يعني بس شوية حاجات بس المهم انتم بتعملوا كله اوكي واضح طيب نمبر وان now we have here ways of speaking we have good idea uh, what are the verbs used to express good idea? What are the verbs used to express disagreeing? What are the verbs used in social, uh, when we talk socially? And what are the verbs used about volume? What are the, the volume? It means when we talk, when we speak, it depends on our mood, it depends on what we are saying, whether we are fighting or what. And words used in uh, uh, verbs used in a court of law, fi mahkama, and words used expressing dislike or giving comments. Okay. لا قصدك الجرامة يا عهود إذا قصدك الجرامة لا معنا الجرامة متاع unit eleven. Okay, the grammar no. Okay. طيب. Okay. يلا نرجع. So. Here, ways of speaking, as I told you, you have a uh, good idea. What are the verbs that we use to express good idea? Okay? For example, here we have suggest. Suggest, yani yaktarah. Okay, so suggest. We have suggest, we have advice and recommend. Advice and recommend. Advice and recommend. Okay? Ma suggest. Did you feel good idea? I recommended, will I advise it, will I suggest it? Okay, with argue, argue, we have uh, quarrel, argue, يعني يتجادلوا في نقاش حاد. Okay, ممكن يوصل لخصومة. Okay, so quarrel, argue, quarrel, and row. Argue, quarrel, and row. هذا في disagreeing. Okay, and social, we say, Talk, we say chat, uh, and we use also gossip. Gossip. Okay, and volume we have shout, we have scream, and we have whisper. Whisper, يعني يهمس. تما فرق ما بين يهمس وبين يصرخ. Okay? Shout and scream يعني يصرخ. بس whisper يعني يهمس. Okay? Admit, يعني يعترف. Admit. في محكمة مثلا يعترف. Okay? Admit, عكسها. Accuse. Accuse. And deny. Deny يعني ينكر. نكر ما نصيب إليه مثلا. Okay. And expressing dislike, we have complain. When you go to a restaurant, for example, and you don't like the food, you complain to the manager. Okay. Protest. يحتاج protest. And also, we have criticize. Criticize. Okay. Uh, giving comments, we have tell and demand. And order. Order.
Okay. Now, complete activity number two with verbs from exercise one. Okay, so number two, to a mate about football. We say, I chat to a mate about football. Well, I talk to a mate about football. So number one, sentence number one is chat or talk. Sentence number one, chat or talk. Talk or chat. Okay? Sentence number two. Sentence number two. Ro, argue, quarrel with your parents about staying out late. Ro, quarrel. Ro, quarrel. And argue. Okay, with a mate. Uh, sorry, with your parents about staying out late. Number three. Number three. Number three, shout. Okay? I shouted at the kids because they are annoying me. Well, annoying you. Okay? Number, uh, number uh, four. Number four. Admit, admit, يعترف, admit or deny, deny, admit, deny that you have a mistake, يعترف ولا يمكن له عمل خطأ, okay? Number five, complain, number five, complain, complain of the, to the waiter about the cold soup, number six, Number six, scream, scream, okay? Scream if you see blood, your favorite sports star. Number seven, protest, protest against the war or about pay and conditions. Number eight, suggest or Recommend. Suggest or recommend. Okay? Now, activity three, complete the sentences with the correct preposition or no preposition. Okay? Are you following? Number one. I talk to my kids about everything. I talk to my kids about everything. I talk to my kids about everything. Okay, number two, number one, I talk to my kids about everything. Number two, my boss criticizes, my boss criticizes me for my work. My boss criticizes me for my work. My boss criticizes me for my work. Number three, I agree with you about most things, but not politics. I agree with you about most things, but not politics. Number four, I discuss everything with my wife. I discuss everything with my wife. Number five, people love Gossiping about people like or love gossiping about celebrities. And number six, the teacher 
accused me of cheating in the exam. The teacher accused me of cheating in the exam. Okay, Libnet, is it clear? Sorry. Is it clear? What 